Hi. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a different video from what I have ever uploaded before. And it's a vulnerable one. And I'm gonna talk about mental health, my anxiety, maybe touch upon depression a little bit. So if you are kind of like triggered by any of those topics, then don't watch this video. In 2022, I decided that my number one priority, kind of like my number one New Year's resolution would be to go see a therapist. And oh boy, um, <laughs> has it been a journey until so far already? I have been hinting at my mental health and how I just haven't been feeling that amazing over the past couple of months in a lot of my videos, but I just wanted to like sit down and talk about it for a couple of minutes just so that you know what's going on with me. And that sounds super serious, but you guys are the best thing that has happened to me, especially in the past year, but just my mind is not really okay right now and I want to share it with you. I'm going to share my most vulnerable moments here as well to illustrate what my anxiety can look like, to show you what's going on, but to also maybe like for someone it could be reassuring to see someone else going through kind of the same thing, something familiar and to not feel alone because that's one of my main themes with my anxiety, feeling alone. Ooh. Okay, I wrote down a couple of things on my notepad to have some kind of structure to this video. I have no clue where this is going to go. I will leave timestamps so you can kind of see what I'll be talking about. So I've always been a perfectionist is what I would say. And perfectionism can actually be a good thing, but for me, it can sometimes just be out of control because I want control over things that you sometimes cannot control. I've said that word way too many times right now. <laughs> and over the past couple of months, ever since last year, when I started doing YouTube full time for a couple of months, all of these weird, anxious thoughts and worries popped up into my brain. And it could be about literally anything, but I feel like the main themes would be, how do people like my videos? Are they fun enough? What am I gonna do with my life? My future is kind of uncertain. I'm gonna start a new study. I'll be living in a new city again. Well, not a new city, I've lived here before, but I am gonna need to find a new place. Will I have nice roommates? Will people like me my studies? Like, etc. etc. I was worrying about all the things and it kind of like sucked the life out of me. My energy levels were so, so low because it was all used up by my thinking. I have always struggled with these kinds of thoughts and I'm almost turning 23 right now and ever since like high school I was always like so stressy worrying about basically anything and everything. I have looked up so many things online, I've watched so many videos but I felt like I could not really do anything more with trying to help myself. So I thought let's go see a therapist. And by the way, I used to always think it was so ironic that someone who studies psychology would go see a psychologist themselves. <laughs> but like, fortunately, my whole viewpoint on that has definitely changed. I think anyone could benefit from therapy and it's not, maybe sometimes, as you would think it is. I had an intake and then I kind of had like, do you call that a preliminary diagnosis? I don't think it's like an official diagnosis, but they need to give it up for my health insurance and stuff like that. So I got like diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I also feel like it's just a huge umbrella term. Is that how you call it? Like there are so many different sides to generalized anxiety. But here it says, generalized anxiety disorder is marked by excessive, exaggerated anxiety and worry about everyday life events for no obvious reason. People with symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder tend to always expect disaster and can't stop worrying about health, money, family, work, or school. Eventually, anxiety can even dominate a person's thinking so much that they find it hard to do routine things at work or school, socially, and in their relationships. So some of the system systems, <laughs> some of the symptoms that I can kind of like relate myself to is definitely the excessive ongoing worry and tension. I also definitely feel restless in my body sometimes and as if I'm like on edge and it can literally be about nothing in particular. I definitely have some trouble sleeping, uh, but it truly depends on how bad my anxiety has been that day. And from my anxiety, I also get sometimes like depressive thoughts. Like I can become really sad and feel really sad for no reason. But one of the things that I hate the most is when I get like this pressing feeling on my chest. It can feel as if someone is kind of like constantly pushing down on it and I'm trying to breathe and take like a full breath, but I'm just not able to. Those are kind of my symptoms, I guess. And like I said, I can worry about anything, but the main themes are school, my future, since I just, I don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know what kind of job I want. I love YouTube, I would love to continue on with it, but it's not very stable. So that's why I also really like that I have like psychology and I do really like what I'm learning here. 
I just don't know what I want to do with it. And that makes me feel anxious. <laughs> also, I can worry a lot about YouTube, how like maybe people don't enjoy my videos as much as last year because views have been going down. Also because the COVID rules and restrictions are mostly like being let go of by countries and people don't have as much time to watch YouTube. So I feel like almost everyone's views are declining, but I know people say it, don't look at the numbers, don't do it. But when also like your salary is dependent on views and interaction with the community, it's kind of difficult to not do that. And when views are low, I always like, how'd you call that? I always think it's because of me and not because of YouTube's algorithm or the fact that people are having fun uh, lives again. I hope that you're having a fun life right now filled with amazing things. I can also worry about the fact that I'm not the most typical student. I don't really love to go out. I always love drinking with friends and doing fun things at someone's place or at a little cafe, but like going to the clubs, festivals, it's just, it's not what I love. And that makes me feel like I'm boring. So I always feel anxious and have these anxious thoughts about, am I boring? Do people think I'm stupid? Those are literally my thoughts. I can't really help it. And then lastly, I would say that I often feel lonely and feeling lonely is different from being lonely because my rational brain is definitely there. I know I have quite some friends. I know that I have people who I can reach out to, but a day like this where I'm alone by myself, I start to worry about it and I can feel lonely and get that like pressing feeling on my chest and it sucks. <laughs> and I also feel like a super bad content creator because of all of this, because of my anxious thoughts, I cannot read books. Like it's very difficult to keep my attention to something right now because whenever I sit down and try to relax and like read a book, um, which is also kind of like part of my job because if I don't read books, I cannot make content, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I just start worrying and I read a page. And after I've read it, I completely forget what was going on. So reading books has been difficult. And if a book can keep my attention, like applause to you right now. <laughs> so when I'm not able to read, I cannot really create the content that I want. And that makes me doubt myself. And then I get into like this vicious cycle of anxiety. So that is kind of why I haven't been able to read as much as I want and why I haven't been able to upload as much as I want, which makes me doubt my content, my success. It's a vicious cycle, like I said. <laughs> the gist of the story, I don't even know what the gist means, I just hear people say it, but is that I'm working on it. I have been to therapy four times right now and it's difficult. And I've asked my therapist about this. When you go to therapy, you are so aware of what you are dealing with or how you are not dealing with it that it becomes worse. So for the past couple of weeks, my anxiety has felt worse than ever. I have had so many low lows um, and like regular days in between as well. But it has been so hard when I was in those low spots, in those low places. And I think two weeks ago, I was in a really, really bad one. And I, I think I wanna show you what that looked like for me. I feel a bit ashamed. But also, if you have these experiences yourself, I feel like it might be reassuring. <sighs> So my um, mental health sucks <laughs> at the moment. It has been so bad. <sighs> I feel like so many things have been building up. And then this weekend, there's this like huge like celebration here in the Netherlands. And all of my friends love it. It's like you basically just get like shit wasted and you listen to this god awful music and everyone loves it except for me and i'm experiencing intense fomo but i also don't like i don't like what i'm missing but still i'm experiencing all of these difficult thoughts and i have been crying so much this weekend and i've been feeling like shit and then i worry about like just the thoughts that I have are like so all over the place and I'm so not kind to myself. I am gonna write down all of the stupid thoughts that go around in my head that I tell myself. And then in the end, I'm gonna write three things that I'm really grateful for for today. And this is also my struggle. I've been recording for over nine minutes and I'm like, who the fuck would wanna watch this? But I do feel like I need to upload it. 
show you guys what's also going on behind the scenes. Um, I don't really know how I want to end this video and like what my real point is. It's just that I'm not doing super, super well. Like I said, I have my bad days. I have some okay days. I have some really great days, but it's something that I'm struggling with. Well, not 24 seven, but I wanted to say that. I'm just struggling with it every single day, but I'm working on it and I'm really proud of it. And I just wanted you to be aware of it, I guess. What I want to say to myself and to you guys who are also struggling perhaps with generalized anxiety disorder or basically any other mental health issue, you are not alone. You absolutely need to know that you are not alone. There are so many people who are dealing with these things and don't worry that you're feeling this way. Don't feel guilty about it. Regarding my YouTube, my self-worth is not determined by views, by the amount of subscribers that I'm losing, mostly these past couple of months. Feelings aren't fixed. They will like fluctuate all the time. Bad days will pass, good days will come. Just enjoy them. Life isn't stagnant and things will change. And I find it really difficult to deal with that change, but struggling with that is okay. You will adjust it's all gonna be fine. My battery died at the moment that I wanted to give you guys some of my personal tips. And like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm going through therapy myself right now. I am studying psychology, but I'm not done with it. My tips for right now are journaling. Writing down your thoughts is so helpful. And especially if I like can reflect on my anxiety moments afterwards, I can be like, oh my gosh, okay, that was intense. My rational brain is like, girl, that's so not true, what you all wrote down. And it can feel really nice to just like write down all of your thoughts and feelings, put it on paper. It definitely helps clear up my mind just in the slightest bit. Something that I've also bought on Etsy, I will leave a link to this journal in the description box down below so you guys can support the creator. And this is my daily wellness journal. Basically like every single page is the same, but it has like this whole schedule of what day is it, your affirmations, your exercise, what you have been eating, what you're looking forward to that day, what you're grateful for. And until so far, I think I've had this journal for about a week. I've used it almost every single day and I also just really like filling it in. <laughs> Not everything is to my liking in this journal, so find a perhaps personalized gratitude journal or daily wellness journal for yourself. And I believe that there is actually also like scientific evidence for if you write down three things that you're grateful for every single day, that your mental health will slightly more or less improve. Like it will help you put things into perspective and hopefully also enjoy the smaller things. You can literally be grateful for the cup of coffee that you made for yourself today or that you went out and took the trash out so that you didn't have to do it the next day. Like it can be anything. It can literally be anything. If you can and if you want to go to therapy, do it. I know that it's not very accessible. There are super, super long waiting lists. I am so happy that I could like immediately go and see this practitioner, see this therapist. But if you can financially, mentally, and you want to, go see a therapist. And my last tip, especially when the weather is so nice like today, go outside. Like sunlight is so good for you. It's also really good for your sleep, actually. I've learned at a symposium a couple of weeks ago. And I personally just really enjoy being out in the sun, being out in nature, going on walks. It can sometimes just be a little bit of an extra like step or like a boundary that you have to pass for going outside like alone by yourself because it can sometimes make me feel even more alone. But play some happy music, listen to one of your favorite podcasts or just like enjoy and really focus on the sounds that you're hearing, like the birds that are chirping, the leaves that are like, how'd you call that? Making noise. <laughs> There's like a specific word for that, I think. Be in the present and okay, maybe this is my last tip. I just downloaded Headspace, which is, I'm not sponsored. Uh, but which is like a meditation app and I still need to like get into meditation, get used to it all. I don't know if I'm doing it really well. I'm trying to at least do it 10 minutes a day if it's either like throughout the day or before I go to bed. You just do like breathing exercises or try to not think about anything and relax your mind. Until so far, I'm really enjoying it. Maybe guided meditation can also be something for you. You can try it out, I think for like two weeks or something without being charged, but I like it until so far. And I don't know what the point kind of was about this video. I just wanted to share it with you. It's probably a long one, longer than I intended it to be, but I'm just gonna upload it and not 
cut down too much of it because this is what I wanted to tell you guys. I will probably see you within the next two weeks because I will be rearranging my bookshelves here in my dorm and I'm looking forward to that so much. So if you are still here after the 10, 15, 20 minutes of video, props to you. Thank you, you are the absolute real ones and leave this emoji in the comments down below. I hope you're doing well and if not, feelings will pass. It's gonna be okay and I'm wishing you the best. So yeah, okay, that's what I wanted to share. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.